Hey, John Hickok here. I've got the Galil Ace SAR in 7.62 by 39, which seems like an appropriate cartridge for this uh, little Ace pistol to be uh, chambered in because it's essentially an AK in a lot of, lot of uh, respects. It's an improved AK, or uh, I shouldn't say improved, that might trigger some people out there. It's a different type of AK. Uh, but we're going to take a look at this uh, today. Now, I pronounce it as Galil because that's how I was raised to pronounce it. Yes, I was raised to pronounce Galil. You know, that by itself is a little bit strange. But um, I've heard a lot of people say call it the Galil. And I, I say Galil. It's like a tomato-tomato thing. Uh, one of them's wrong, I guess. But that's just that's how I say it. Maybe I'll change. You know, you guys can tell me how wrong I am in the comments. But... That's how I was raised when I was a young kid to say it, Galil in Tennessee. Okay, so the Galil Ace, uh, before we get started, I want to, all right, that's enough announcements. Let's shoot some bullets. People will give you a hard time about that. It's, you're not, you know, it's a cartridge, but I am technically shooting bullets. You can't say that that's not true. All right, let's, uh, let's start on this blue two liter right here. Try to hit something behind it. All right, let's get those other ones out. All right, let's try it over on the uh, the other hill. Start with the red plate on the left. Go to the middle. All right, one on the far right. All right, let's uh, pop something close real quick. Huh. I guess we won't. We won't be doing that. Got denied by ammo capacity. Uh, okay, I want to tell you some things about this gun, of course. But again, before we do that, I want to thank appmex.com. Uh, please check them out if you're interested in precious metals, uh, whether it's you know uh, newer bullion stuff or old historic coins, you know, gold, silver, copper, they got it all. So check them out. Appreciate them as well. So one thing I want to point out first about this that I was noticing just shooting it and some of the shooting I've done earlier today is uh, the ghost ring on here i don't know what it, it does you know to look at it it doesn't look any smaller than it does on uh, ars or other uh, platforms that i'm used to but for some reason i don't get a really clear sight picture i get a lot of fuzziness through there that i don't normally get with uh like for example and most ar-15s that, that i fired even though it seems like a similar setup and that's with both of these it seems better uh with this aperture uh, but uh, it's hidden over there, I guess. You get uh, tritium on this with the Galil Ace SAR. You've got you know two little dots back here that glow at night, and one up here. So that's that's pretty handy. Not a lot of rifles that you can or pistols that you can get uh, will come with that. Uh, a lot of times that's something you have to do um, after market. But it is an expensive gun. These things you know come in around eighteen hundred dollars, so they're not cheap. Uh, but essentially what you get is what, what, what some people would say is an improved AK. Now, I kind of agree uh, with that because I like how they've, you know, they've moved the charging handle to the, to the other side. And if you're right-handed, that's kind of a nice advantage with the, kind of the old classic AK. You have to do some workarounds where you got to come up under here to work the action the mags in the way so it's kind of a, a weird move where you got to turn it to the side which is what I usually do uh, to work it but with the uh, Galil you just have it on the side you know which is really nice and then of course you know this is a, is an improvement of the AK and the ace 
the Galil is an improvement of the AK. I mean, that's their, that was their intention. Not everyone may agree. And then the Ace is an improvement of the original Galil. There's a gap there that I missed. Uh, of course, the Galil has been around a long, long time. Uh, it goes back, you know, to the 60s and 70s. But uh, this is a more recent offering by IWI. And the original Galil was made by IMI. Um, so you've got... Also, you've got uh, access to the safety on both sides. That's kind of nice uh, versus an AK, you know, with the standard AK. And you've got the safety lever over here. But you've still got it over here, but also you can grab it with the thumb, which is really nice. And they've done something interesting with the dust cover here where, of course, on the AK, you know, should have brought one out here. Um, you know, you've, you've got this open uh, gap up here when the when the uh, safety is down um, and where they switched this to the other side, you would have had a similar situation, but they've got this little piece right here, as you can see, as the bolt reciprocates, you know, it moves up and down so it kind of stays closed whether you have the safety on or not, which is really cool. Uh, you've got an eight inch barrel on this thing, uh, one and nine twist. You've got the SB tactical brace, which is what makes it a pistol by legal definition which is really cool and and being 6'8 just like dad is it's uh it fits pretty well i feel pretty comfortable with it uh you know my face is pretty close to the rear sight but it, it's definitely enough length to where uh it works fine for me let's uh shoot it some more we got a mag pull mag here with this luxurious brass case 762 by 39 uh let's go ahead and shoot this target over here Take the safety off first, that always helps. We got a few in the center there. Oh, those weren't, didn't seem to be as uh, well placed. I wonder why. Let's, uh, let's shoot this green two liter. This ammo can down here, it's been laughing at us for several videos now. All right. Uh, no bolt hold open on this one. Uh, this one doesn't, doesn't have that feature. It's just like an AK. Uh, so you gotta, you find out when you're empty, when you hear a click. Uh, so that would be one kind of disadvantage of course you've got one nice thing about this you have uh you know from the factory versus a lot of ak's that, that you can find it's it's really strange how popular the ak is but how limited your options are it seems like you walk into any gun shop and they've got just rows of different types of ars and then maybe like two ak's or something it's really strange maybe that's just a tennessee thing i don't know but uh, you've got rail up top um you know, it's nice you have a little more sight radius. You got the rear sight back here on the dust cover. Let's we'll talk about that more in a second. And then you've got little rail sections underneath there, uh, which is kind of nice, gives you options. Um, now, I'm going to take this thing apart, um, but I want to let you know. So, I've had some problems with it. It's so incredibly tight, which I would imagine. Oh, it's all right. It's really cold out here today. The nose is running. Um, combat realistic um, I've, I've, uh, I've seen lots of videos of people not having problems with, with taking theirs apart so I don't know if it's because it's so new and all of them are like this or it's something about this particular specific gun but it's really really stiff and I know that it's supposed to be the, the top cover is supposed to be stiffer than on a standard AK just because you know it helps it keep the zero better of your sight and you, know, you mount an optic up here or whatever but it's so incredibly tight that I haven't been able to do it with my hands and dad hasn't either so it's not like I'm just a total wimp or anything but I have to use this little tool push a tab down in there and it kind of stays in there and then it needs to be needs to be cocked there we go all right push a tab back in there okay and then pull this out ah. It's maybe loosened up just a little bit, not much. 
but also I wanted to show you too how it's essentially an AK in there. So if you're familiar with the AK pattern rifle, you know, it might look a little familiar to you. Bolt out. Yeah, there you go. Pretty AK like in there because it is an AK essentially. Essentially exactly what it is. And this is the part that always gets me on an AK. Get it right in there. There we go. It's like a puzzle. All right. Now with these, you push it down, yeah, you know, in there like that, and then the dust cover. Um, you know, there's not a great place, you know, to hit it to, to pop it on there. You might have seen there's a video a long time ago where I popped the dust cover on and uh, broke the egg. You know, broke this piece back here because it was it wasn't on right. But this one, you kind of have to do that or it, it won't go on. I can't do it with my hand because the sight is in the way. So I've got to use this little like, dead blow hammer because it is it, the, tight, the fit back there is really, really tight. Make sure it's lined up. All right. All right, it's back on there. So, you know, that would be a kind of a negative for me if it didn't loosen up much, but I would, I would think surely, surely it would, but that, that is, that's insane uh, that, it's, that it's that tight. But I guess you're not likely to lose zero. And that's another thing that's pretty cool is this thing was zeroed uh, right out of the box. I mean, it's basically, seems like it's right on, so. All right, um, let me shoot another mag, and of course it, it folds to show you that it's kind of hard to shoot it like that it's not really designed to be shot that way but you know it does fold and you kind of could get your finger in there but not very easily i like that it has a nice big open mag well easy to get the magazines in you know it takes ak magazines that's really nice uh it seems like from what i've seen most people Use a 40 round mag. <clears throat> Most people uh, get this in the 556 five, caliber from what I've seen, but I I think if I got one of these, I would probably want it in 7.62 by 39. It's just kind of a neat little little package, you know, with that mid range uh, caliber. Uh, I, I like it. It's a pretty smooth shooting gun, doesn't have a lot of recoil. Of course, it's got some weight to it, it's not super light. Uh, I noticed the trigger kind of has like that, a little bit of a slap back, you know what I mean? We can feel it kind of slapping your finger a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's pretty minor. Uh, but it's just a good feeling rifle and shoots well. All right. I'm going to empty out this magazine on some various targets and then I'll uh, let you guys go. All right, we haven't done any pot smoking yet. Let's do that. these uh, bowling pins down. <laughs> gotta watch that one right there, it's steel, almost shot it. Oh, we got a water jug too. All right, let's go back over on the other hill, hit some red plates. All right, let's try the middle ones. I basically can't see them at all uh, through this ghost ring sight. It's just a big blur. Yeah, I would have to put a different sight on this. Because when I look at the smaller ones, I can just kind of see a little shade of red. And on the bigger ones, I can kind of see where they are, but it's still very blurry. I don't understand why that is because I've never had problems like with my eyes seeing through ghost rings just something about the ones that come on this <clears throat> um, let's see see what else we got shot up most of the targets let me just empty it on the barrel 
See if I can get this thing going. Get it nice and hot. All right. Well, there you go. The Galil Ace SAR, which the SAR uh, stands for, from what I've read, it stands for short assault rifle, which I know is kind of a trigger word in our uh, gun community. Uh, but, you know, this was, is a rifle that's used by the military, and it is, is what it is. But it's uh, available for civilians, so I think we can maybe forgive them on that a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but out of Israel, IWI, IWI, Galil Ace, SAR, really neat uh, little option. Um, it's something that I would probably consider uh, for home defense. I like the idea of something small and compact that shoots a rifle cartridge uh, for home defense because you never know how many people may, be, may come, come knocking. I mean, if they, they know they're breaking into your house and there's someone there, um, you can try to put yourself in, in their shoes. They're not necessarily going to come alone. So uh, these kinds of little things have a lot of validity uh, for those types of scenarios, I believe. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, catch you next time. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here, also uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.